Good afternoon and welcome back and happy Friday, Low Country. We've made it. We're here. The weekend is just around the corner. Notice 84 degrees. We're warming up quickly when we actually woke up to cool temperatures because we had a cold front move through last night. Did you get some of that rain? I know I did. Uh, and thankfully, we're seeing beautiful weather behind it. Notice we have a light wind coming from the west, southwest, and humidity levels are a little bit down. So we're seeing lower humidity, cooler temperatures. Yeah, we're not cold by any means, but things are starting to look a little bit more like fall. Notice the temperatures across the board. We've got 81 Walterboro, 81 Somerville and Goose Creek as well. Monk's Corner. We've got 79 for you in St. George. So still a little bit cooler in those inland uh, areas. Notice a little bit closer to the coast. We're still in the lower 80s at this point. And on our first alert live, Super Doppler Max, the Low Country's most powerful Doppler radar, it is looking pretty clear. We do have some showers and storms offshore. That's because that cold front did push through and it's going to stall. I always like to say, the cold fronts like the beaches just like we do. They want to hang out. Notice the circulation. I talk about low pressure flows and counterclockwise circulation. So there's a center of low pressure there. And it's a classic comma shape. Right here is where that cold front is. And proceeding, that is the showery and stormy weather. So we will carry a slight chance for it to brush the coast this weekend, about a 20% chance, but most inland areas are looking dry. So as we take you through the future tracker tonight and through the afternoon as well, notice 3 o'clock when you're picking the kids up from school could see a few coastal showers. Again, most of us dry, riding home from work, looking pretty good out there for the majority of us. It looks like mainly our northern counties along the coast uh, could be seeing some action. But 8 o'clock, maybe you're going to Friday Night Lights football games. It's going to be a great night or you have date night, whatever you have planned. It's going to be a lovely day and a lovely Lovely night ahead. Notice over the next few hours, we're going to stay in the mid 80s with a light wind, plenty of sunshine. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. And I was talking about football. This is what you can expect if you are going out tonight. Temperatures, it's good football weather, right? It's not going to be hot. It's not going to be cold. It'll be just right. I feel like Goldilocks right now. Notice uh, temperatures in the 70s with uh, a light wind. If you have plans to go to the beach today, notice that it's going to be in the lower 80s there. 20% chance for showers, lots of sun. And we have high tide happened, well, earlier this morning at 814. And low tide will be at 222. So could be having plenty of beach this afternoon. Here is a look at the tropics. We're talking about Hurricane Matthew, now a major Category 3 hurricane, moving west-southwest at 12 miles per hour. So it has slowed since earlier this morning and it has 115 mile per hour sustained wind speeds. Whoa, Adrian says. Notice as it goes through the uh, next couple of days, it will stay at Category 3. If it does reach Cuba, because normally day four, past day four, is not the most accurate. So going from Tuesday on, we'll have to continue to watch this and see if it's going to stay on that track. But if it does, it looks like it would weaken back to a Category 2. And then past that, that's what we're going to have to watch and give you the first alert to any updates. So it's still too early to say we're going to have any direct impacts. Most of the models do want to take it to the north. We do still have a couple that want to take it to the west. But just keep it here on Live 5 News because if we know, you know. And if we're not on air, we'll be online giving you the first alert to any updates. But go ahead and enjoy the weekend. Just have it in the back of your mind that we'll be tracking it. Take a look at the weekend first. We always like to show you that. And temperatures looking pretty good in the low to mid 80s with just a very slight chance for showers. So go out and enjoy it.